Alright, hi guys, I'm Sudeep and I'm an IOS engineering intern at Temasis. Uh, before I go into the details, uh, who knows what a WebRTC is? Alright, we got a few hands up. Uh, okay, I'll, today I'll be talking about how to easily integrate WebRTC uh, into both your new and existing IOS apps uh, using the Skylink IOS SDK developed by Temasis. I'll just quickly go through what WebRTC is for the benefit of those who don't know. Uh, it stands for Web Real-Time Communication, and it's a relatively new uh, web standard for low-latency real-time uh, communication between peers. Uh, and it leverages on a set of uh, plugin-free APIs that are progressively being supported by all major browsers. And right now, it supports audio, video, um, file transfer, messaging, and it's pretty powerful. But I'm sure all of us here want to really find out how to put this inside of a, a phone, right? So. Um, let me just go through how the technology works. So we have two peers, uh, let's call them Alice and Bob, and they want to talk to each other and share data. But they can't really do so because they don't technically know each other yet. So what they need is a known party uh, that will introduce them to each other. So using information from this known party, uh, they establish a peer-to-peer -peer connection uh, and they can use this to start sharing data. So Skylink does this by having a room name that identifies the connection that is being created here. Okay, so this is one of the applications that we've been working on for iOS. It's called uh, getaroom.io. And, yeah, getaroom, yeah. So uh, it has uh, cross platform compatibility. So you can see some of the functionality here, such as the connection being formed in the second screen, uh, audio video sharing in the third, and uh, file transfer and messaging in the last screen. Uh, but before I demo it to you, I actually want to go through what's going on behind the scenes here. So building on the earlier example, we have Alice and Bob again. And uh, in this case, we have a server that actually handles the room name creation for us. So Alice wants to make a call to Bob, and uh, the device informs the server, and then ser the server creates a room, uh, a room name, CFXGV, and this identifies the room that the two peers will be joining. And it then directs Alice to the room, Bob then has the option of accepting or declining, and then let's say he chooses to accept. Uh, he's then directed to room as well, and uh, once both peers join the room successfully, uh, Skylink connection is formed, and they can start sharing uh, audio, video, messages, and files. But the best part of this, um, this Skylink connection is that it's not just limited to iOS devices. Uh, peers can communicate through um, web browsers, through Android devices, and it's a very cross-platform uh, cross um, uh, communication. So let me go ahead and demo it to you right now. Uh, let's say Bob uh, is on his computer and he gets a, a link. He opens up the earlier room, CFXGV. OK, you can't see it there. Right. So this is how it looks like. Alright, okay, now I'll, I will load it up on my phone. Just give me a second. Right. Okay, it's a bit small. Okay, it's acting a bit strange, but uh, I think you can see the bottom area. So I just loaded up the uh, identities and I'm calling, let's look for Bob. Right. And this is the connection being formed uh, right now. And in a few seconds, you'll see that the... Right, there you go. <laughs> so this is how responsive and fast the technology is. This is essentially a peer-to-peer -peer communication link being formed. And yeah, it's pretty fast. Right, so that's the demo. Okay, now I'll be showing you how you can make an app like that with just fi these five simple steps. So the first is registration. Um, you have to go to de uh, developer.tamasis.com.sg, uh, get yourself an API key and a secret. Uh, this will be if you want to use the SDK in your mobile app. Uh, if you're looking for a web app, you'll need to provide additional details like uh, the application domain and so on. 
Next, uh, you'll be adding the dependencies, frameworks, and libraries. If you use CocoaPods, as usual, it's just simple. Uh, just add the Skylink pod to your project. If not, you'll have to add these following uh, frameworks, library, and, uh, libraries, and dependencies. OK, this is where you set up the Skylink configuration itself. You can choose to enable audio, video, file transfer, data channel. Uh, at this point, it's good to assess what your app actually uh, needs. So let's say my app is an audio video um, communication tool, but I don't need file transfer. I can just set file transfer to no. Uh, by the way, I'll be just going through the Objective-C code, but we support both uh, Objective-C and Swift. So if you need the Swift, you can just look it up on our website. I'll give the link later. Right, so you initialize the Skylink uh, object here. Uh, it's initialized using the configuration that you created earlier, as well as the API key you got online. <coughs> And uh, same as earlier, if you don't need it, you don't need to set the uh, delegate. Um, otherwise, just set the necessary delegates and you're good to go. Also, I'm, uh, this is one of the easiest ways of setting up the Skylink connection. Um, yeah, this is one of the easiest ways of setting up the Skylink connection. Uh, but we offer an alternative method, which is to through um, generator credentials. This ad, uh, adds an additional layer of security if you require that in your app. Otherwise, uh, you can simply connect with the secret you got earlier, uh, a room name, and uh, the user info. Okay, uh, the room name is just a string that defines the connection, what I mentioned earlier. It's uh, a unique string. The user info can be three variables. It can be a string, it can be an array, or it can be a dictionary. Uh, the, the dictionary allows you to add uh, additional uh, values, such as the first name, the last name, any other parameters that you might need to pass or uh, pass in your app. Yeah, and you disconnect as such. All right, so these are some of the delegates. I haven't listed all the delegates. I'm just listing one from each. So you can see, like for example, the connection uh, delegate. When there's a successful connection being made, that's the method that's called. Um, when a peer joins, that's the one, the second one. And the last one, when a message is received. Uh, one thing to note about messaging is that we have both uh, support for both the data channel as well as the signaling path. So there's support for both one-to-one -one messages and broadcast messages, uh, whichever your app requires. Right, so that's the media uh, when the peer receives the video and uh, when the file transfer is completed. So this is just to give you an overview of how the delegates look like. Um, for more, you can refer to our sample app that's on our website. So uh, yeah, these are some links that you might find important. The Skylink, the io slash ios. Uh, you can find the SDK, uh, our <coughs> documentation and sample reference app, both in Objective C and Swift. Um, the slides can be found there. And uh, as of now, Safari and IE still don't fully support WebRTC, but we have a plugin solution that allows you to use the functionality that I just went through uh, and seamlessly communicate between iOS, Android devices, and these uh, web browsers. Uh, you can find the plugin at, uh, it's for desktop Safari, you can find it at skylink.io/plugin. And uh, if you have any iOS specific questions, you can find uh, Sajid, who's a senior software engineer, or myself. Or Janidu, if you have any uh, questions on SDK. We also have our director of engineering, Nat, at the back, and uh, Lavanya, who's our Android solutions engineer. Yep, that's about it. I hope you found the presentation useful.